Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you 10 more exercises to help you master the ball. So just like the previous video that we worked on, if you haven't seen it already, we did do 10 other ball mastery exercises in a previous video. I'll put the link on the screen right now if you want to check those out. I'd recommend mastering those before moving on to these as well. But it's a similar format to that video too. We're going to start out very basic, especially for the first five moves, and then we progressively get more difficult and more difficult. But the first five is just warming up our feet, using all those different surface areas. You'll see some players, they just seem like they're one with the ball. They seem like they have a really good connection. They can get out of tight situations and the ball just seems attached to their feet. And the reason being is because they spent a lot of time mastering the ball with all the different surface areas so that they have a lot more in their inventory in those situations where they need to get out of tight situations. So we're gonna start very basic. We're gonna put our foot on top of the ball and all we're doing is rolling the ball forward with our sole to our heel and then back to our toe. So we're just getting a nice coverage of the whole entire surface area of our sole. It's gonna look a little something like this, standing on top of the ball, rocking forward to the heel, rocking backwards to the toe, and our standing leg is just hopping. So it's gonna look a little something like this. And once we've done 10 with one foot, we're just gonna simply move on to the other foot and do the exact same thing. So this time we're standing on our right leg, just rocking from forwards to backwards, making sure we're covering the whole of that sole, right to the heel and then right to the toe as well. And then once we've done 10, we can move on into exercise number two. So moving on into exercise number two, it's very similar to exercise number one, but instead of rocking the ball forwards, we're kind of rocking it behind us. So this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna start with our sole on top of the ball, just like we did before, but this time we're rolling the ball backwards and then we're stopping the ball with the top of our foot, the lace is here. So it kind of rolls it out and then you kind of stop it right at the top of the foot here, right near the front. So it's kind of like you're faking like you're gonna pass, but then you stop it. So we're gonna do it with both feet and we're gonna get a bit of a rhythm going. So once we've done it with the right foot, we then roll it forward and release and then do it exactly the same with the left foot. Then we can get in a bit of a rhythm. And that's exercise number two. So moving on into exercise number three. So we've incorporated the heel and the top of the foot quite heavily there. So we want to start incorporating the inside and the outside of our foot as well, because they're very important areas for dribbling. So this next move, we're going to be hopping on one leg and we're going to be using the inside and outside of our foot, just pushing it backwards and forwards to either side, kind of like this. So you're just getting a light touch on either side and you're hopping on one standing leg. So you've got to keep control of the ball, make sure those touches are nice and soft so that the ball doesn't go off miles away. And then we're going to do 20 on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 20. And then we'll move on into the other leg as well. This is a great move for developing moves like the elastico, where you're really using the inside and outside of the foot very quickly. You're actually moving from outside to inside. So if you can get this technique down, it's going to make it a lot easier when you're dribbling and want to do those elastico moves where you're having to use the outside to the inside really quickly. You're gonna have a lot of strength in your standing leg. You're gonna develop that balance that's gonna help you with your dribbling. So this is what it should look like. So that was exercise number three, moving on into exercise number four. So moving on into exercise number four, now we're gonna start integrating different areas of the foot in one single movement. So this is what exercise number four looks like. You're gonna have your foot on the ball, you're gonna rock it to the middle, rock it to the outside, and then switch foot, rock it to the middle, rock it to the outside, switch foot, rock it to the middle, to the outside, and switch foot. And you're gonna get a bit of a rhythm. So it's gonna look a little something like this. So moving on into exercise number five, and we're gonna start being a bit more dynamic now. So this is what this one looks like. So we're gonna have the ball and we're gonna sole roll it, but we're gonna act like we're almost gonna shoot or pass it. So I've had the ball over here. I'm gonna make a little movement to make it look like I'm gonna shoot or pass it. Then I'm gonna roll it across my body and then do the exact same thing with the other leg. 
and you're almost rolling it past your own body so you actually have to move out of the way of the ball. So this is a good move that you can actually use in a match as well. So it's really good to develop this one with the sole of your foot being nice and sharp with it. So you're shifting it out and acting like you're gonna shoot so the defender rushes in and then you fake like you're gonna shoot and then you roll it across your body. He kind of tries to block the shot and then you've got a bit more extra space to make your next move. So this is what this one looks like. That's exercise number five. Let's go right into exercise number six. So moving on into exercise number six, and it's similar to exercise number five. You can actually use this one as a move in a game to kind of fake like you're going to pass. So this is what this one looks like. So you're gonna have the ball. You're gonna roll over the ball with your foot. Then as it's coming down, you snap it back the other way with the outside of your foot. So it's a short and sharp movement, but it can be used as a move, as I was saying. So if the defender's coming in, you're gonna fake like you're gonna pass this way. He'll try and anticipate that pass, so he'll move in front of you. And if you snap it back the other way, then you've got a bit more time and space to make your move. So the way this one looks like, it's gonna roll over the ball, snap it to one side, back, and then you're gonna go immediately with the opposite foot, roll over and snap it back the other way. And then you're gonna get in a bit of a rhythm. So it's gonna look a little something like this. So that's exercise number six. Let's go right into exercise number seven. Okay, so moving on into exercise number seven and we're starting to get a little bit more complicated now. But if you've mastered all the moves up until this point, you'll have no problems with this one as well. So this is what exercise number seven looks like. So you're gonna have the ball, you're gonna use your heel and do a light touch onto your other foot and then knock it forward with the inside of your opposite foot. So it's heel to inside. You're gonna stop the ball and then you're gonna do the exact same thing in the opposite direction. So this is what it looks like slowly. So you're gonna have the ball, it's heel, push, stop. And it's gonna go heel, push, stop. Heel, push, stop. So this is what it looks like a little bit faster once you get in a rhythm. So that's exercise number seven. Let's move into exercise number eight. So now we're moving into exercise number eight and we're gonna throw a little bit of a step over in here now, a very commonly used move in the game. So it's good to get the action repeating in training so that when it comes to a match, it feels very fluent. So this is how this one's gonna look. We're gonna have our foot on the ball, out to the side a little bit. So we're using the sole of our foot to drag it across our body. And as it comes across our body, we're gonna step around the ball, sort of an inside step over and then retrieve the ball with the sole of our opposite foot. And then we're gonna repeat again to the opposite side. And once we get comfortable doing that slowly, we can then get in a bit of a rhythm. And that's exercise number eight. And we can actually develop this a little bit further. So if you get comfortable using the sole of our foot, we can actually do the same action, but just using a small tap with the inside of our foot, but you have to really control it. You have to really get that touch down, otherwise it's gonna go off all over the place. So you gotta get a nice deft touch with the inside of our foot, coming around the ball, small touch inside like this. And once you get a rhythm going, it should look a little something like this. So that's two variations of exercise number eight. So let's get into exercise number nine. So exercise number nine, we're actually combining a couple moves once again. So this is what this one looks like. So we're gonna have our foot on top of the ball once again, really using that sole of the foot once again. So we're gonna drag it back like we're gonna do an L drag, but instead of dragging it to the other side, like we, this is an L drag, instead of doing that, we're gonna drag it back. And the second movement, as we drag it out to the side, we're actually gonna put our laces on top of the ball to trap it. So it's almost like a fake pass or a fake L drag. So we drag it back, and then we're actually gonna trap it with the top of the foot. Then we're gonna bring it back inside, up to the top, and then we can change feet. So we drag it, stop, drag it back, and up to the top. So it's just like a fake L drag. So this is what it should look like once you get a little bit of a rhythm. So that's exercise number nine. Let's move on into the final exercise of these moves, exercise number 10. 
So moving on into the final exercise, exercise number 10. And the reason I left this one last is because I believe this is the most complicated of the bunch. But as I always say, if you have mastered one through nine, you should have no problems with this. It might take a couple of tries to get used to the combination, but once you get used to it, you'll be doing it no problem whatsoever. So this is what exercise number 10 looks like. So you're gonna have the ball on one side, using the sole to start once again. You're dragging it behind your foot, so the outside of your standing leg, dragging it down the side of it. And then you're gonna retrieve the ball behind. Then you're gonna push it out, put your sole on top of the ball once again. Then you're gonna drag back and do an L turn. You're gonna stop the ball here with your left foot and then repeat on the other side. So you drag it behind the standing leg, out again, then an L drag back out to the standing leg. It looks very complicated, but I'm gonna break it down once again. So slowly, using the outside of our leg, gonna drag it down the side, retrieve it, push it out to the front. So just to show you one more time, slow down. Got the ball on the outside of our standing foot, dragging it behind our leg, pushing it out, putting our sole on top of the ball once again. Then we're doing the L turn, back out, putting our opposite foot on top of the ball, then repeating the process the other way. And then we're gonna repeat that over and over again. It's gonna be a bit complicated at first, but give this one a try and you should get it with time as long as you've mastered one through nine. All right guys, so those are the 10 ball mastery exercises I have for you today. Make sure you check out my other ball mastery videos as well. I've put the link at the start of the video, but I'll also share it in the description as well to make it easy for you. Make sure you hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.